Oh god, what more do you want from me? You know, I reviewed this fucking video game for the DVD. Now you want me to do a commentary for it? You guys are asses. Um... Hi, this is Doug Walker, if you haven't guessed yet, and uh, just gonna do a little commentary for this, and I like this opening. Actually, the more I think about it, no Nostalgia Critic on this DVD has the traditional Nostalgia Critic opening of just me at my desk saying hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. Um, just coincidence, I think, just for whatever reason I thought it'd be funny to open up this way, especially because uh, I haven't done that many video game reviews. Actually, this is only the second one. And the reason for that, honestly, is that they are harder and they take more time. And I just, I wouldn't be able to have it, uh, you know, in a week. The, uh, the first one, I sort of did really fast. I mean, I really hold ass on that one because I didn't know when James was going to put out his video, uh, his movie review. And once he did, I'm like, okay, I gotta work fast to do this, so... Um, and I already played the game before the Bebe's kids, so I just went as fast as I could to get the material and, and write it out and everything, and, and so that was actually pretty fast, that was a couple of days, but it, it, that's all I did, I didn't do any bum reviews or anything else, I only focused on that, and this, of course, when I do a Nostalgia Critic, I gotta do other videos as well, I have to have at least three videos a week, so, um, so yeah, this is much harder, because you have to create the footage, it's not like a movie where you just, you have it, and you play with it and you can slow it down, speed it up. No, you have to create this footage. You have to show people what you're talking about. And the funny thing about it is that this is much shorter than my other reviews. And I was trying to figure out why. I was saying, well, it's... Looking at the script, it's about the same length as any other review. And I realize when you're showing what's going on, it's, it's very quick in a game. You don't have to wait for a dialogue. You don't have to wait for a scene to play out and establish it. In a game, it's just you either, you know, something either happens or it doesn't. You either die or something, you know, really annoying happens and you just explain it. So this turned out a lot shorter. I apologize for that. I mean, like I said, it's usually written the same amount, but uh, I think this is something like 12, 13 minutes. So, um, but I did do an art game review, which is good. And... This game, it is a bad game, don't get me wrong. I don't know if it's as bad as I built it up, because at times it can be a little fun. You know, just sort of a basic jump around Mario Brothers thing. Um, but what made this really frustrating is that in order to get the, uh, the footage on the computer... You know, again, you can't do it like a movie. You have to, have, you have to be able to see what you're doing, so... Uh, I use Pinnacle Studio to import my footage. And the uh, VCR DVD player I got only has one output, so I can only watch it on the computer on this tiny little screen, because of course, you know, Wonderful Pinnacle doesn't allow you to get the screen bigger. So I'm playing this on a very, very tiny screen, so I can see it. And actually what I had to do, I had to change the uh, resolution on the computer screen so it could be a little larger, but not by much. And it is, this is a hard game to play on a small screen. You need a big screen to play this game because, like I said, it is slippery. And, um, you know, you can slip off very easily. And you have to be on those chains the exact way, you know. As you saw, you keep slipping off there as well or it doesn't even grab it. So, I actually was getting really pissed off playing this game the second time. The first time I played it, actually, if you look at the special features, I get relatively far. I think I get to, like, stage 15 and... I find, I'm not very patient with games anymore. I, you know, the things where, like, you have to wait for a character or something to move, and then you go, it's like, I hate that. I just want to blow shit up. <laughs> Sadly, I, I wish, you know, there's a time I was more patient with games or whatever. I could play, like, Zelda or Metroid and, you know, go on adventures and find stuff. It's like, no, not now. I just, I want to destroy things. <laughs> Horrible to say. I don't have much time, game, okay? I'm busy. I just give me shit to blow up. I'm good. So, and this game does have a little bit of that. I mean, there's not, like, a lot of mazes or anything. Um, there's one or two where you have to, like, figure stuff out, and that gets a little annoying, but... Um, and, again, if you watch the little extra video on here, you'll see Rob was reading the instruction book to figure out why the hell we're in this lame world. And he actually explained the story. I'm like, okay, we gotta put this in the, uh... We gotta put this in there, because this is the... Dumbest story. And my thought is, I think this was a different game. Um, I don't think this originally, like, they said, hey, make a Blues Brothers game, and they started doing this. I think they got this game from whatever, Japan, and, uh, 
just had some sort of weird character that they didn't like or they didn't think they could market. So they're like, eh, what haven't we done yet? You know, but we don't want to throw a ton of money. Well, what could we get uh, the rights to that be pretty cheap? You know, the Blues Brothers, okay. <laughs> On our joke, we were talking about is maybe uh, Link getting hit in the balls. Um, I thought it sounded more like Sam Canson, so I did the Sam Canson joke. A similar to coming. Eating cake is similar to coming. I always like it when I can do the Nostalgia Critic at a different um, location aside from the desk. Uh, you don't always have to be hunched over and stuff like that. Plus, that's a comfy chair, so I like doing that. The next time I do my commercials uh, review, I'll probably do that. Probably just do it at the chair again. I might even wear the I Donut Donut shirt. You know, what's the point of this? You put all those records there just to take them away. And there's a lot, now again, when I'm having these reactions, um, I, I always do a lot of takes for something, uh, cause you never know, it's like sometimes the first take will be fine, sometimes it'll be the last take, or even the third take, so, um, I do a lot, you know, like that, where I go, what the fuck, I mean, I'll go, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, I mean, you play with it and see which one works the best, uh, believe it or not, it's not always the hype pitch squealy one <laughs> sometimes you know just a very quiet one is the funniest and it's tough again because i don't know i mean i i remember like you know it's like, okay say shit here when you fall say damn when you fall here and say it a few times but again there's so many variations i mean you can say you know no nah, shit or shit or shit I, there's so many various ways you can do it so the more takes you have the more you can play around and you can get just that right uh, combination. As I, I saw Nintendo Power, uh, an ad for this game, it was just one picture, it's where you start off, and I think that just turned everybody off to it. <laughs> like, who, who the hell knows about this game? Like, virtually nobody. I mean, nobody recommended that I do this game, even when, uh, I put out the, uh, con not the contest, but the little thing at the end of the nerd video saying, hey, you know, well, what game should I review? Oh god, just watching, <laughs> just watching me falls off, fall off these chains gets me so angry. <laughs> it's, I, anyone who knows me knows I don't get angry that often, but I, I was getting legitimately pissed off at this game. It's not the one on the video, it's not the little extra feature. Uh, this is when I had to play it to get footage for the game, and that's where it got even more frustrating, because, you know, there's a time limit, and I want to demonstrate the point of what I'm trying to talk about, and sometimes it either won't do it or it suddenly will, but then I'll run out of time, and it just, it's, ugh. I really hate doing game reviews, that's why I don't do them very often. Actually, watching me probably really play is is probably very funny. But that's the thing, if a camera's on me, I'll be too nice. I'll be like, you know, oh darn, shoot. But if nobody's watching and I constantly keep dying at something, especially when it's something I know I can do, I get really pissed off. It's one of the few things I get pissed off at. My brother's the same way, but he'll deny it. Yeah, and this sort of came out of nowhere, too. It, I, every time, because I remember when we were playing this, we were just astonished to see a dog. Because they keep running the same enemies over and over and over. So we just sort of looked at it, and then at one point the dog, like, falls on me or lands on me, and I'm carrying it. We're having a good laugh at that. And it was only a few seconds, but it's like, you can't do that for those few seconds. All of a sudden, at one level, the time limit gets, like, super, super short. Yeah, and even there, and you gotta wait, and, well, I'm just, I'm just reenacting the review now. I think that was one time, just on the spot, I made that up, I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to, I know I'm going to die here, might as well just be still and let it happen, I can make a joke later. And, actually, and it was, the one thing I did different with this review that I didn't do with Bebe's Kids, was that I, um, uh, I played it for, I got the footage first. And then I wrote the review. I, I knew what I was going to talk about, but you never knew. New things might pop up depending on the footage. So, uh, Baby's Kids was different. I did, um, uh, the whatchamacallit. I, I filmed it and then tried to create the footage. And that's, I found out that's the stupid way to do it. Because you never know when you're playing, you might not be able to get the footage. Or there might be something else that's better to react to. You know, like something that you keep dying at. Like, the, the chains were not 
as hard when I, um, you know, they weren't as difficult when I played it on the big screen. I mean, they were difficult, but they, it wasn't that hard. On the small screen, I just kept falling and falling and falling, and it's like, okay, I gotta make a joke out of this. This thing, forget about it, that, uh, you know, possessed Falcor, whatever that is, that thing is a shit fuck. I did it, and I did get past this level. Again, if you watch on the other video, I, I got much farther than this. Um, but uh, I think the way to do it is just go forward. Like, just do it as fast as you can. Like, don't even think about it. Just go really fast. You know, don't don't try to be careful. Just do it very quickly, or else it'll, you know, again, it'll just throw you off. It's like the most impossible thing to control. It's an obnoxious little snake drag, whatever the fuck it is. And, and they know it, because look, they put like a bajillion one-ups there. <laughs> you know, because they know you're going to die a hundred times here, and they just want to get you even more frustrated, so... <laughs> now that little sound there, that... I, I stole from, um... I stole from Donald Duck. He, he makes that sound a few times. I remember there's one where it's... I can't remember what it was, but I think he's trying to cook something, and this... Whatever, something keeps hitting him or he can't get this dish right at one point he goes through all this stuff and there's just this silence no music or anything he just looks at the dish sort of looks at his hands and he just goes <laughs> it's just a great reaction so it's it's another duck i steal from is steal from daffy and donald on original hack <laughs> one of the guys i Oh, I don't know his name, but he did one of the lost levels from Super Mario Bros. Or the the official Super Mario Bros. 2, the one in Japan. He did this one impossible level that actually starts you off on a cliff. And it's a very long video. It's something like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, maybe even longer. And his reactions were so great, I tried to take some of that. I love it when he just goes, no, da, 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 da. Or, oh, oh, hey, da! You know, he had these really great reactions. So I think I took a little bit from that. If anyone's wondering, that's a Macbeth poster, honestly. It, it was for the Lyric Opera. I didn't see it, but my parents went and they just had this poster. It looks kind of awesome, so I just hung it up. <laughs> if anyone's ever wondering what that is. It was snowing that day, too. Luckily, none of it got on the camera. It was just starting to snow, so I did it really fast. I did it really quick. And that game I threw out, actually, again, because I don't want to hurt the actual game, is, uh, ironically, Crash Test Dummies, the Super D Nintendo game. And when I got it and I threw it, I said, this is actually very ironic. I never thought about this. I'm just constantly crashing and destroying this thing as Crash Test Dummies. So, eh, go figure. I just got it because it's the cheapest. That is true. Thank you so much for buying the DVD. <laughs> I love how pissed he gets. He pushed me! Jester can get angry, too. Anyway, uh, I love you all.